Paragraph Organization Topic Supporting and Concluding Sentences A paragraph has three main parts. A topic sentence. The topic sentence introduces the topic and tells what the writer will say about the topic. Supporting Sentences the sentences that follow further explain and support the topic sentence. They are called supporting sentences. Concluding sentence. The concluding sentence often repeats the information in the topic sentence in a different way. Let's take a look at an example paragraph and we will note the topic sentence, supporting sentences, and concluding sentence. Here's a paragraph about barefoot boy. In the middle you see supporting sentences. Supporting sentences is everything after the topic sentence and everything before the concluding sentence. I'll demonstrate. This is the topic sentence. I had a scary experience when I was a young boy. The concluding sentence is the last sentence. The experience frightened me and I never went outside barefoot again. Please note, the concluding sentence often restates the topic sentence. However, it is in a different way. A topic sentence has two parts, a topic and a controlling idea. The topic part names the topic. The controlling idea part tells what the paragraph will say about the topic. For example, let's take a look at this formula. We have topic plus controlling idea equals a sentence. Here's an example. My friend is the topic plus controlling idea, so the controlling idea is an honest person, and that all comes together to equal a sentence. My friend is an honest person. Let's take a look at some more examples. My friend topic is the funniest person I know, controlling idea. And the sentence is, my friend is the funniest person I know. Another example. My friend is the topic, has a terribly dangerous job, and that is the controlling idea. The sentence together is, my friend has a terribly dangerous job. The topic in all three examples are the same. My friend. And the controlling idea in each says something different about my friend, such as, is an honest person, is the funniest person I know, or has a terribly dangerous job. Exercise 3, page 7, Topic and Controlling Idea. Circle the topic and underline the controlling idea. I'll read the sentence for you on this slide, and we will circle the topic. On the next slide, I will show you what is the controlling idea. Hiking is the best way to explore nature closely, and the topic is hiking. In the next sentence, let's read it. My uncle had a frightening experience as a young man. What do you think the topic is? It's my uncle. Text messaging has become popular among teenagers. What do you think the topic is? Text messaging. Effective time management requires four easy steps. What do you think the topic is? Effective time management. Every college student should take a computer course. And what would the topic be here? Every college student. Now let's take a look at the next slide which will give us the controlling idea. Remember, the circled words or word in red is the topic. Now let's take a look at the controlling idea. Hiking is the best way to explore nature closely. And the controlling idea is what is underlined is the best way to explore nature closely. My uncle had a frightening experience as a young man. And the controlling idea is, had a frightening experience as a young man. Text messaging has become popular among teenagers. And the controlling idea is, has become popular among teenagers. Effective time management requires four easy steps. And the controlling idea is, requires four easy steps. Every college student should take a computer course. And the controlling idea is, should take a computer course.